So it's so it's the Saturday closest to May 10th. That means it's National Train Day. And in order to celebrate, we will be looking at why the Peppa Pig train episodes are completely unrealistic and Miss Rabbit almost kills her passengers on two occasions. Okay, let's get started. We will we'll be checking two episodes, and the first one is called simply The Train Ride. A more accurate title will be Miss Rabbit Tries to Recreate the 1996 Cajon Pass Train Wreck, but let's move on. It's one, two, three, four. Miss Rabbit is the train driver. The episode calls the person who drives trains the driver, but in real life, the person who drives trains is called the engineer. So, Mr. Rabbit is the station master. Why is he allowed to just jump on a train and be a guard all of a sudden? The guard and the station master are two separate jobs. Yet again, no train can climb up an, an incline that steep. Well, when you go down that, that hill at that fast, you're going to end up like the 1989 Home Pass Runway. If you don't know what the 1989 Home Pass Runway, here's a clip from a mini documentary made by Thunderbolt 100T Siren Productions. But then it creeps up faster to 35, 40, 50, even 65. At that point, they try and throw it into emergency, which kind of works, but it's not enough. The brakes begin to burn up, and the train begins to fly down the hill as fast as 90 miles an hour. Way too fast. At this point, the engineer wasn't even in control anymore. He and the rest of his crewmen became passengers, and gravity has hijacked the controls. They call ahead to West Colton Terminal, informing them about their problem. Then, Frank remembers that there's a set of houses at San Bernardino, right beside a curve. It was right there that the crew lost all hope. I'm comparing this to 1989 Cajon Pass run Runway, there's one crucial this difference. Frank Holland, the engineer on Southern Pacific train 7551 eastbound, was actually trying to stop the train. Miss Rabbit so does not even lift a finger. Is this what Peppa Pig wants us to believe a steam locomotive cab looks like? First of all, there's no brakes, there's, there's no firebox door, and trains don't have steering wheels. This is encouraging kids that a train will stop for you to cross the track, while in reality it, it takes at least half a mile for a train to come to a complete stop, at the very least. Parents complain that their kids start to adopt Peppa's accent and call their parents mummy, but I really hope kids don't think that they can cross the track and the train will stop for them. Okay, our, our next episode is called The Long Train Journey. A more accurate title will be Miss Rabbit Tries to Abandon Her Duties as a Train Engineer, Almost Killing All of Her Passengers in the Process. Miss Rabbit is the train driver. This once again calls the person who drives trains the driver. A person who, who drives trains is once again called the engineer. Full steam ahead! You don't want to, to automatically apply full throttle as soon as you leave the station. Once you leave the station, you, you want to slowly ease on the throttle. If you apply full steam ahead all of a sudden, that will cause wheel slip, and, and that could severely damage the wheels of the locomotive. Why is Miss Rabbit still the engineer at this point? It is law that every day or so, when the train pulls into a station, it should switch crews. Why is Miss Rabbit still the driver at this point? Now she's abandoning her duties as a train engineer. She can very well collide head on with a freight train. Morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Rabbit, trains don't get lost. What I'm worried about is that you could collide head on with another train killing some of the passengers on board in the process. You almost killed your passengers twice. You need to be fired. I know this isn't train related, but your job needs you to travel to another country just to slap a piece of concrete with a meter. Can't the people in that country just do that themselves? And I don't think that's how you test concrete either.
This episode just kind of angered me. Miss Rabbit abandons her duties as a, as a train engineer, claiming the, the train can't get lost. The train getting lost it is not the issue. Trains don't get lost. What I'm concerned about is that you could kill some of your passengers when you collide head on with another train. Miss Rabbit is also possibly the worst train engineer known to mankind. Not only does she cause a runaway train and not even lift a finger to stop it, but she also almost kills all of her passengers.